I want to share with you today a word that I feel like God wants someone out there to know. And obviously, if you're watching this video, I believe he wants you to know. I believe this is a little teaching that will help you today. Because I want to talk to you about the one word, and this will probably be in a 5 to 10 minute range, 8 to 10 minutes, something probably. But I want to share with you today one word that can be the difference in your life between an answered prayer and an unanswered prayer. Okay, we're all praying about things. Today you might be born again and you might have prayers that you're praying. And you might wonder, I don't know if God will do it or not. I don't know how God possibly could do it. I don't know how, I really don't see a way that God could work this out. I really don't see a way out. You know, if it's something, I guess God will have to do it, but I just don't understand it. You know, I don't, I don't see how he'll work it. Maybe you've stumbled across this video and you're lost. You don't know the Lord and you'd, you'd like to, but you look at yourself and you see yourself. And I get emails from people who will say, I don't know if the Lord could forgive me. I don't know if the Lord could save me. I don't see how the Lord could love someone like me. Okay, I want to share with you today one of the stories out of the Word of God. And this contains the word that you need in your life that can make the difference in an answered prayer and an unanswered prayer. This is about faith, having faith in God. And I want to share with you the story, and you can read about it in the book of Luke, but I'm not going to take the time right now to go over all of it with you. But the Bible in the book of Luke tells us about where, and I'll just, I'll just not even read it. I'm just sort of going to tell you briefly about it. The Bible tells us that Jesus had been teaching. So he'd been teaching the people. Well, while he was teaching, the Bible said that the disciples, they had been out fishing, okay? Fishing and, and fishing and fishing some more, and they had caught nothing. So the Bible said Jesus told Peter, he said, Peter, he said, go launch out into the deep. Cast your nets out into the deep and be ready for a drought. Well, do you know what Peter said? Peter said, Lord. No, actually, let me correct that. Peter said, Master. Master. So Peter knew who he was talking to. Okay, so, so do you understand today? Peter knew he was talking to the Master, the one that made the fish, that made the water, that made the clouds, that made the sky. Peter knew who he was talking to. Okay, but here's what he said. He said, Master, he said, we have toiled all night. We have fished all night long, okay? And fishing, this was big for them. This wasn't just a, a, a sport that you would go out like, like a lot of people do here in, in our country where you just go out and fish off of a bank. This was a big thing for them because this had a lot to do with their, their food supply and, and fishing was big for the, these people as they are in a lot of parts of the world today. So Peter said, Lord, we have toiled all night. We have fished all night long. Lord, we have tried and tried. We fished with this. We fished with that. No doubt they'd use different kinds of bait. And have you ever sat on a pond bank and fished and, and nothing would take that bait? You wouldn't even hardly get a nibble. That's almost the way it seemed here. Peter said, we've tried all night, Lord. But you know what Peter said? Peter said the one word, and you're probably seeing it uh, right now as we're talking. Peter said the one word, and here's what he said. He said, nevertheless, Lord, nevertheless, at thy word, we'll do it. We'll do what you said, Lord. Okay. The Bible said they launched their nets out into the deep. And the Bible said that their nets began to break because of the fish that they was catching. Okay, what's the word that I'm talking about today? Nevertheless. Do you know what the word nevertheless means? It means in spite of the fact. In spite of the fact. Okay. Let me use this in a sentence so maybe you'll understand it just a little bit better. Let's use it as far as maybe, uh, let's use it as far as a ball team, okay? Maybe you've got a ball team and two players don't get along very good. Maybe they're not the best of friends, but they're really good players. 
Okay, let's use this word, nevertheless. I'm going to call them John and Joe. All right. John and Joe didn't agree on very much. But nevertheless, they played well together and won a championship. In spite of the fact that John and Joe might not have got along. In spite of the fact that John and Joe might not have been the best of friends. They played well enough together to win a championship. So what was Peter saying? Peter was saying this, Lord, we have toiled all night. We have tried all night. We have fished all night. We've tried everything. But in spite of the fact that we've not caught nothing all night long, Lord, at your word, we're going to do what you said. In spite of the fact, in spite of the odds being against us, nevertheless, we're going to do what you say. I'm asking you today, are you praying about something? Are you having trouble today having faith in God? Think about it, okay? Maybe you're praying about something and you say, I don't know any way possible. But nevertheless, Lord, I'm going to trust in you. I don't know all the odds are stacked against me. The odds are stacked against us. The odds are stacked against my community. The odds are stacked against me on my job. The odds are stacked against me. But nevertheless, in spite of all of that, Lord, I'm going to trust you to work this out. Lord, I'm going to trust you to answer this prayer. Maybe you're praying for someone's healing. And maybe other people have told you, you might, have, you might as well face it and forget it. But in spite of all of that, Lord, nevertheless, they might have said one thing, but nevertheless, Lord, I am going to take you at your word. Nevertheless, in spite of the odds, in spite of the fact that the odds might look against you, in spite of the fact, nevertheless, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I'm asking you today as a child of God, will you trust God today with your problem? Will you trust God today with your situation? Will you trust God today to see you through? You know, there's one scripture out of the book of Mark, and I'm going to share, I will share this one with you. And it's real simple, four words. Mark chapter number 11 and verse number 22. Jesus answered and said unto them, and here's the four words. Have faith. In God. That's what Peter was basically saying. He said, Lord, I've tried. Lord, we have tried. We fished all night, all of us. They had a boat full of fishermen out there fishing. Couldn't catch a thing. But he said, Lord, nevertheless, I'm going to have faith in you. I'm going to have faith in the word that you just gave me. Today, maybe you're lost and you need the Lord and you feel like, Lord, there's no way you could love me. Look, don't think about what you've done in the past. Just ask the Lord to forgive you for it. Nevertheless, Lord, at your word, I know, Lord, you said you would not cast me away if I come to you. I know in spite of the fact that I look and I see a, a me that I don't know how you could love, in spite of that, Lord, I'm going to trust you and know that you love me, Lord, and that you will forgive me. And let the Lord do a work in your life. If you're praying today about something and you're a child of God, say it like this. Nevertheless, Lord, the odds might look against us. The odds might look against me. But nevertheless, Lord, at your word, I'm going to have faith in God. Those were simple words. Have faith in God. That's what Peter did. Peter obeyed those words when Jesus said, Cast out into the deep and get ready for a catch. Well, Lord, we've tried all night. We've tried, Lord, and it don't look against us. It don't look like we're doing much. It don't look like we had any success. Any success, but he said, nevertheless, in spite of all of that, I'm going to do what you said, Lord. I'm asking you today, if the devil's trying to make you doubt, Satan's trying to make you doubt the Lord. Satan's trying to say, look what's going on in your life. Look what's going on on this side. Look what's going on on that side. Look what's going on behind you. Look what's going on in front of you. Look what's going on, and there's no way you can make it. There's no way that God will answer that prayer. There's no way that your loved ones will be saved. There's no way that that car will run tomorrow. There's no way that you'll be able to meet that next bill. There's no way, in spite of all of that, say, Lord, nevertheless, in spite of all of that, at thy word, Lord, I'm going to have faith in God. 
If this video has helped you today and you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe to this. Uh, hit the bell for notifications and please give it a like. Hit the like button if you're still watching right now because I tell you what, it does help YouTube promote our videos. We're out today. All we're trying to do on this channel is help people in their walk with Christ and teach the words of the Lord. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. And we want to catch you on the next one.